the Butcher, recording this awesome interview with Matt of Super Bob for Side Stage Magazine. And we are here at the Blue Fox Billiards in Winchester, Virginia. And um, say hi, Matt. Hello. What's up, guys? Um, so we're going to ask Matt some really cool questions. I want you guys to know a little bit more about this really independent band that does a lot of stuff by themselves. Um, so tell us a little bit about um, your recording that you're about to do. We're working on a new record. Um, we're excited about it. So far it's, it's coming out pretty damn good. Uh, we should have music out. We're hoping about a month and a half. We're just going to find somebody to shoot the video and we have to decide on the song. Very we're cool. very excited about it. I'm sure. I can't imagine having to decide what <laughs> song to do a video for. But like when you hear your, I mean obviously you hear your song, but when, how do you decide like what kind of imagery goes with it? Is it just come to you kind of beforehand or do you plan um, a lot ahead? The difficult part of deciding what kind of video to shoot is that anybody can shoot a video with a million dollar budget. You, know, you get a Lamborghini, a helicopter, you get yeah, a bunch of strippers, you know, you got a music video. Yeah. But the, the difficult part is finding something that visually works with the song right. that is easy to execute on a lower budget. You know, it's like we'll decide, okay, we're traveling this section of the country, we need to find a camera guy on the road, we have three days off in this town. What venues, what kinds of places can we shoot yeah. in? Who do we know that fits the look we're going for? And basically we plan a, plan a video around a compromise of what we want it to look like and what we can pull off for that particular budget, that particular time of the year, all that crap. It's it, sound, that's what I was say. it sounds really stressful, but also at the same time, you have full control over like yeah. the creative process, yeah. which is really cool. But, you know, finding locations, I know, is really, really so hard. Yeah. You know, because like, okay, you find a really cool, you know of a really cool venue or something in the area oh, that yeah. you're totally down to use. It's two o'clock in the day. Exactly. You know, they're not open. It's or, like, oh, let's shoot a video in the Vatican. That would look awesome. Yeah. Ah, like, we can't pull that off. So it's like, yeah. let's shoot a video in a hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> so I can I can understand totally that it'll be very difficult to do that. But I think that you guys have a, a great thing going on. I think you guys have a lot of really awesome fans <laughs> that are like, fuck yeah, Super Bob's the shit. Which is great because that's what you guys need. You guys. They are doing all of this shit by themselves, which is very cool, and not a lot of bands can say that they have done that. So, no. well, a lot of bands will say they've done. Well, I, I mean, I can tell you, the like, silent investor. <laughs> yeah, you guys are one hundred percent organic. Like, so, like on the road, what is like a daily routine that you guys do? Uh, it, it's actually boring, <laughs> really boring. Uh, wake up, I wake up at one o'clock. Um, in the hotel. My routine is different than the guys. Adam right. wakes up around 10 a.m., he works out, spends his like, personal no, time together. I wake up at 1, uh, typically 1.15. We normally get 2 o'clock checkouts, so I wake up at 1.15, I brush my teeth, I make coffee, I travel with a French press in my bag, so I make my coffee. Do you really? That's cool. I, really, yeah, I travel with a French yeah, press. Yeah, there's no way you can have grinders. shitty, yeah, no you, shitty coffee. Uh -huh. So, Wake up, 1 o'clock, 1.15, coffee, leave the hotel at 2, usually drive for an hour or two, stop for lunch at a grocery store, we shop for the day. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Eat lunch typically in the cafe in a grocery store or days like today where we didn't have the time. Eat lunch driving, stop at Starbucks. Get With your menu. sandwich like. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a pain. I was driving on 81 today trying to make an avocado sandwich oh. as I'm driving, which... I did it. I was successful. You did good. I don't see, like, there's no green remnants of avocado in his no, clothes, guys. No, it's right guys. here, right oh, here we on can't, the bottom yeah, okay. of my white shirt. Oh, we see. Okay. Yeah, well, it's, it's, I lied. I lied. It happens. Yeah. We call it avocado, man, when you drop your avocado. <laughs> avocado. Because it doesn't come off for hours. Yeah, I can uh, We typically load into the venue around 6 o'clock. 50-50 um, on sound check. Sometimes we just line check. Uh, but a day like today, we set up, did a sound check. I set up merch while the guys are setting up the gear. Yeah. Sound check, then we sit behind the merch table for about six hours, hang out, talk to people, uh, sell merch, at, we play the show, after the show sell merch, talk to people, sometimes we'll order food, uh, 
Yeah. And we drive two to three hours, get in a hotel, and repeat. Yeah. That's every day. Yep. In, well, unless I mean, you have a special day like today where we're going home for four days, so oh, we'll cool. be driving for about you guys are from, 17 hours. That. You guys are from D.C. area, but where yep. are you guys kind of located? Uh, the there? guys live in Charleston, South Carolina, and okay. I live outside of Tampa, Florida, in Clearwater. Okay, awesome. Well, I mean, that is pretty far from here. We're yes. in like northern Virginia right now, so uh, that's a pretty long drive. Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's nice that yeah. you can go, that you have the opportunity to do that. You know, you yes. can go home when you want to. You don't have any other obligations that you have to take care of in California. Nice. So that's really cool. Another thing that I wanted to ask you about is something that I noticed the first time that I got, that I met you guys, which was at Munches in Beckley, West Virginia. Um, the way that you guys take pictures with your fans <laughs> is totally amazing. I've never <laughs> seen any other band. I mean, people that I talk to, they know you guys because of those pictures. <laughs> because you just do such weird shit during the pictures, and it's awesome. Like, I didn't know that you guys did that, so when I got my picture with you guys the first time, I looked at the picture and I was like, what the fuck <laughs> is like going on idiots. here? <laughs> like, like, one of them was like, I think it's squishing my head or something, and they were just like, squish it. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So how did you guys like, I'm sure you guys have taken a million pictures, so it had to have just been like maybe like fun or funny at the uh, time. Honestly, the reason behind it is I started doing thumbs up in pictures and smiling like an idiot because I, you first start playing, you know, you never take pictures with people in a yeah. normal life. Then you start playing music, people want to take pictures, so you take pictures, yeah. inevitably they're posted on your wall and you see yourself in the picture. And I saw myself in a picture trying to do like the normal band guy thing, and I was like, I look like a fucking idiot. So then I look at, started looking at band pictures, and everybody's like, you got like the cool face, like, yeah, man. It's like, dude, you look like a fucking idiot. Yeah. You know? You can't be cool all the time. Nobody's cool all the yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. No matter how seriously you take yeah. yourself, you can't be That's so cool perfect. Guy, you can't. You know? And it's like, if we're doing the interview and you're like, cool guy, the interview's gonna suck. Yeah, because exactly. you can't let your guard down. You're just trying to be fucking cool. Yeah. So we made the decision, fuck trying to be cool. And I want to fucking smile. Yeah. And <laughs> you never have to worry about like, oh, was my smile good? Was I looking in the right place? You're like, oh, yeah. I look crazy. That's it's perfect. like a big burden taken off your shoulders when you just go, I'm going to look like a fucking idiot in every picture. <laughs> that's so, great. That's how we, that's that how we is got like, it. That's so much better than <laughs> I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought the answer would be like, well, we just decided that that would be cool. Yeah. It's like, no, that's awesome. But then it bleeds in your personal life. Now, like my girlfriend wants a picture all I got is <laughs> my girlfriend's like oh, my girlfriend's like do a real smile I, I and you're like what's real that smile. It's, a, like... it's a picture oh, plus to be honest I never liked having my picture taken so it's kind of like a self defense kind of thing this way it's like a, I'm this guy <laughs> yeah well that's perfect I love it I love it that's awesome let's see what else do I want to talk to you about today um, I wanted to talk to you about Jackets. I'm obviously sporting my very own, like, you know, Super Bob inspired uh, jacket. Matt jacket. I know, I saw it on, on Facebook. He got a new black fur jacket. Yep, I'm going to wear it tonight. That's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to see I it. Did, I had to alter it, though, because the arms, obviously, every time you find a fur coat, it's cut for a woman. And I have very long arms and wide shoulders. <laughs> so you put it on, you're just Yes, yeah, like... so I put it on, sleeves went to here. So I let out the fur that was in the sleeves, went to here. Okay. Still not long enough, so I cut off the collar. And put it around. Cut the collar. And put it around. Sewed the collar. So now the arms fit, but it doesn't have a collar, which I'm hoping looks good because it'll show like more tattoos. Right. You know? So I'm going to yeah. try it out tonight, look at the pictures on Monday, and if they don't look good, I'm going to go find another coat with a nice collar. Take and the then collar put it, off and the put collar it around. Yeah. So I have three no, fur was... coats, brown, black, and I have a mink coat. Yeah. They're so badass, guys. If you the haven't seen... coat I can't play in, though, because I, I, again, had to have a tailor, had yeah. to have the arms lengthened, uh, and taken in because they're the big arms. Right. So the arms are too tight. And I, I think, think if I've I would've... seen them in pictures or maybe yes. a photo shoot that you I've did. used the mink coat in a couple of photos, but I can't wear it live because I feel like if I really like <laughs> threw down a crab, I would split the back of the jacket. Yeah, we don't want that. So, yeah. No, it's awesome. They, he's always dressed in I also have a disco ball hoodie. 
What about, okay, and then when I saw him, or I saw Seth Rob Live the first time, he had this awesome fucking, like, silver jacket. That's my disco ball. Right? Yes, okay, that it's shit. Like oh, I love it. It's perfect. It's it's perfect. Okay, I got one more, one more question for you, and then I'll let you get back to business. Um, I want to know who is the absolute strangest person that you, Adam, or Drew has ever met on tour? Like, you know, a person that did some really weird shit or, like, just maybe even freaked you guys out a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's like thinking back. It's a lot of strange fucking people. <laughs> a lot of years like, to go back. it doesn't back. necessarily yeah. have to be somebody at a show. Like, it could be somebody even, like, at a rest stop or, like, I mean, because that's really where I see a lot of weird Truck shit. Truck stops um, are interesting. Yeah, that's what I hear. Like, when I ask for things about stuff, they're always just like, um, well, truck stop people are pretty fucking weird. Yeah, they are. Um, God, I don't know. The most interesting. You know, so so much stuff happens on the road that I'm sure. is so fucking weird. <laughs> if you would have asked me four years ago, I would have instantly been able to tell you, but now it's like, I've seen oh, you so much see, weird you see shit. So much, you're it's fucking like it all blends together. Like, for instance, we're playing in Savannah, Georgia, three months ago. Uh -huh. Guy pulls up in his car. Hey, I saw you guys last time you're here. Cool, what's up, man? We're talking, blah blah blah. He's like, Yeah, you ever do any modeling? I do like this, this stuff, and I'm like, No, I've never done any modeling. <laughs> It's like, uh, who would you be interested in? You know, you just agree with people sometimes to get them to leave you alone. And I've been there for like 10 minutes now talking to this guy about modeling. And he's like, you, would you ever consider doing any modeling? So I'm like, yeah, sure, dude, because I'm, I want to move on from the conversation. <laughs> it's like, well, how do you feel about like, like shirtless? I'm like, that's cool. I'm shirtless on stage all the time. It's like, uh, well, how do, how do you feel about nude? Oh, so I'm like, no. Uh, no, no, I, I, I'm not really a naked person. Really mad at your no. minors. Dude, so then he kind of changes the subject and we're talking and then he comes back to it. He's like, uh, well, how do you feel about showing, showing your dick? And I'm like, no, dude, absolutely not. <laughs> He's like, well, you know, I got some girls. And then the guy starts trying to talk me into a porno. Oh, my God. It's like, oh, you mind me asking, you know, what are you, what are you working with down there? Asking me what size my dick is. Oh, I'm like, dude. God. Now, for that, I just said, dude, I'm, I'm not doing a porno. <laughs> no. So I go back inside the venue, and I'm like, dude, weirdest, I go to Adam, weirdest thing just happened. And it's like, a guy asked you to do a porno, didn't he? I was like, yeah. He was like, guy just asked me to do a porno, too. <laughs> so what he's saying, what he's really saying is there's possibly a Super Bowl porno floating around. No, I'm just kidding. I'm but, just kidding. But you know, the thing is, is I think there could be, like, a Super Bob soundtrack to the porno. <laughs> Songs no, that's what you should have done. Instead of doing the porno, you should have said, I'll sell you um, one of our songs for your I just want to get the fuck away from the guy at that point. You know? I feel like I'm about to get tased and thrown in the trunk of a car, oh wake God. up in a gay porn. That's, oh, you know? no, that's, oh yeah. like, that's terrifying. Yeah. Well, okay, so <laughs> words of advice for all of our viewers. Please don't ask the, the men in Super We're not doing porno. To be in porn, okay? It's not okay. It's not all right. It's just like asking a fucking chick that you meet to fucking do porn. It's not all right. And that's so probably not even it. the weirdest thing. That's just one of the. That's more, pretty weird. Or it is very weird, but things <laughs> happen when you're on the road. You know, yeah. people oh, are sure. fucking crazy, and the way we look, you know, people like we attract some weird motherfuckers. <laughs> I can, I can see that. I, I walk around that. feeling like I'm a completely normal person because the types of people we attract and the shit that they say, it's like <laughs> holy shit. So we just so walk around. Awesome. I think we're completely normal guys. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, I do too. But like, that's because you know I've talked to you and like you are normal. <laughs> but like, that's hilarious that you're just like, fuck me. I'm I'm the most normal. Yeah, Joe I'm the most Blow normal motherfucker, motherfucker I've met today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Okay, so is there anything anything else that you? to tell fans, viewers about people maybe that haven't checked you guys out yet, you know, to maybe look into. They're they're awesome, they're interesting, and they're they're great. And we've definitely never done a porn. <laughs> that's, that's basically the whole point of this interview. Yeah, yeah okay? we really, we took a right turn into porno land. Yeah, but we're out now. There's yeah. none of that. All right, guys. I'm Cohen the Butcher. This is Matt from Super Bob. Thank you so much for watching. This is for Side Stage Magazine. Make sure you check out the website. Thank you very much.